Hey guys, it's Gene here. And as I've stated in previous videos, I feel like I'm fairly financially illiterate considering how long I've been in the workplace and, you know, how decent of, of an income I earn. I think everybody seems to think that inflation is coming and I'm already starting to sense that other than at the gas pump, that definitely at the supermarket, the prices are going higher. And, you know, I wonder, I've always had this attitude about debt being bad and, you know, this Dave Ramsey approach to getting out of debt. But I'm thinking if if I've got an opportunity to move money out of the U.S. dollar and into, say, silver or gold or Bitcoin or some other instrument, maybe I should slow down my, my debt payment obligations to a minimum and throw as much as I can at, at assets that are increasing against the dollar. In other words, if the purchasing power, and, and you will see that I don't use the word value, instead I use the word purchasing power. If the purchasing power of every new dollar is diminished with every passing day, then the longer I take to pay off my debts, the better it is for me. Because as I move down the road, I'm paying off my debts with cheaper dollars. So it doesn't make sense to me to get out of debt in a period where the dollar is tanking and prices are increasing. And am I seeing this wrong? And I don't know. I Like I said, so anyway, I went in to DuckDuckGo and I typed in, if inflation is high, should I get out of debt? And these two things, one was from Investopedia and the other one was from Forbes. The Forbes guy was like, inflation is coming, here are five ways to combat it. And he said, real estate. And I'm like, wait, real estate? He's like, yeah, because you can generate rental income. But I'm like, it's at the time of this recording, it's the 20th of August, 2020. And, you know, people have been not paying their rent and the the local governments county and stuff have not been evicting people and so it seems to me like if times get so bad that the state won't enforce evictions on the landlord then maybe rental income isn't that reliable of a of a means of income and it says real estate is a popular choice not only because rising prices increase the resale value of the property over time but because real estate can also be used to generate rental income well i don't think that it's safe to assume that real estate always goes up i mean what if it goes down i mean it went down in 2008 i mean it went down i mean crash home prices went down I, I just don't know why we would go ahead and assume that. Then he says commodities. I'm like, I think that's smart. I think agriculture is probably a smart direction to go. But I don't know. I mean, I don't know how to invest in commodities. Bonds? Are you serious? Um, aren't bonds like fixed income? Oh, he says, wait, you got treasury inflated protected securities. It sounds like some mumbo jumbo to me. Like go in the comment section and tell me if we have runaway inflation and you want to move your money away from the dollar <laughs> is bonds a good instrument stocks have a reasonable chance of keeping pace with inflation but when it comes to doing so not all equities are created equal all right high dividend paying stocks get hammered but investors focus on companies that can pass their rising product costs on the cut i don't think i want to get into the stock market I just don't think these, the, the economic times that we're looking at right now, I'm just I'm not getting into stocks. Loans and debt obligations. This is like a floating rate instruments that banks or lenders can raise the interest rate charge so that the return on investment keeps pace with inflation. For most retail investors, the feasible course is to buy a mutual fund or exchange traded fund that specializes in these income generating. That doesn't, I'm not sure there's anything in there for me. Does inflation favor lenders or borrowers? Investopedia. Let's see what this one says. Inflation occurs in the general increase in the price of goods and services and a fall in purchasing power. No, dude. Inflation increases when they pump money into the system. Purchasing power. See, he uses the right terminology there, right? Inflation can help borrowers. So if the borrower is, he still owes the same amount of money, but their, if their wages increase to keep up with inflation, then they have now have more money in their paycheck to pay off the debt. I don't know if, raises, if wages are gonna increase. I know my income certainly hasn't increased in, in 2020. <laughs> 2020 has been a terrible year. Um, inflation can also help lenders. I don't know. If prices increase, so does the cost of living. They borrow more money, but the default rates are high too. I don't know, guys. Don't you think if you want to hedge against inflation, 
pay off the debt with cheaper dollars to buy assets that are going to go up. Gold, silver, Bitcoin. I don't know if there's anything else I trust. Agriculture, maybe. What What do you guys What do you guys think? Tell me.